Hey guys, so you know I love a good hand-me-down. So I went shopping in my dad's closet. I got some things for my mom's too, of course. How could I resist? But I was mainly looking in my dad's closet. I was looking to see if he had any more matching sweaters with my papa. Because I don't think he realized when he did any of them. I think my nana might have picked them out. Because he has a tan shirt that my papa had a tan and blue shirt of. Um, but then I went and I looked and he does. He has... The two sweaters that my papa had, I've since sent one to my sister, so we both have one. And I went and I was telling him, and I was like, oh, you're matching. And I was like, what, you want them? I was like, no, 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 you match me and Nicole. And so, yeah, but there was like hella dust on a lot of stuff because he's retired. He don't go nowhere. He don't need you. So he doesn't, and he's perfectly fine with that. So I actually have some suits. Because even though I had him try on one of the jackets again, and he's like, yeah, you know, this is my favorite suit, but he's not going to wear it again. Because <laughs> I asked him, I was like, so you going to start wearing suits again? He's like, nah. Okay, well then I'll take your favorite, because his two favorite suits are my two favorite suits. So, um, there is still dust on some of these, so some of them I will put on so you can see, and some of them I will not. Because um, I got to go in the wash. Which would be, I don't know, you can't see the dust line, but I can see it. These sweaters. Oh, I got a robe. So this one, oh, you gonna see how dusty it is. Just sitting in it. Oh my god! Y'all, he don't even know. This is a Dior men's robe. <laughs> and I actually have, I have some um, secondhand like nightgowns and robes from Dior. And y'all know, out of the legacy brands, I said Dior is my top. But yeah, it's just a really nice blue. Oh wow, that is too funny. That is the funniest thing. Look, at some point, me and Dior gotta get together. It's written in the stars. Oh god, like you see, dust. I'm not gonna do a close up, but yes. Dior almost so. And I'm showing you before I put them in the wash because once I get them out of the wash, they're gonna go straight in the closet and I might forget to show you, so. It's now or never. See, this is pretty. And I thought he was gonna wear this one again because he's like, oh yeah, I like that color. And then he's like, you want it? I was like, you're not gonna wear it? He's like, no. Because he has the ones that he wears because you know he don't go nowhere, so he don't need that many. And there's still stuff in there so my sister can come look through if she wants. But yeah, it's pretty good. It's this one little messed up piece. But you can like look up how to fix crochet stuff. So I'll do that at some point. But then my mom, she's like, oh, why are you taking that? Because like, he's not going to wear it. Yeah. Because that's what, what she said. He looks, uh, um, mm. what'd she call daddy? Something along the line of excellent. Basically, my dad looks excellent in a uniform and in a suit, so. <laughs> And then this one, I love this one. Now, people always want to mention to me the 60s and the 70s because of my afro. Um, please stop, to be honest. But this one did give me that vibe. And so I got it. And it's nice. What is that? Man skin? Ooh, doo, doo, doo. Here we go. It's like... You guys like a nice cross print? Look, that network. It's a fire. Oh, why is there always a fire truck out on the holidays? Aspatuck trading. Y'all got some Aspatuck trading? Oh yeah, by the holiday. I'm filming this on Thanksgiving. I got this stuff prior to Thanksgiving. This is just the day that I happened to be filming it prior to eating. This is actually the sweater that caught my eye. What is this? Criterion, made in Macau. I believe that's Macau. Oh yeah, my daddy's a military brat, so. Look at it. I don't know, I don't even realize. Honestly, I didn't realize it was houndstooth until just now, but <laughs> it caught my eye first, you know, in the pile of everything. It was, you know, Kind of crumpled up like that, folded above underneath a bunch of stuff. So, and then this lovely 
Puritan, made in USA. Make a nice, solid cashmere sweater. Oh, what is it made out of? It looks like it could be cashmere. What are you? Acrylics. Some nice man-made material. One thing I seem to not be able to do is not take their military attire. Um, obviously, you have to take off anything showing rank if you are not aware, and then you can wear military stuff. Um, these ones are, this one's my dad's, don't remember, but I, I will show you these ones on. Just, let me lower you. Just a nice little, little outerwear. But it's, it's actually a little too cold. Well, not actually right now. It's not. It's in like the 50s. It's going to be like the 50s and 60s. Going into December. Oh, Lord. Do better for the planet. Anyways. Which you see is very survivalist. Which I'm not. I mean, I would survive. <laughs> but. Blue one. But you just see, I have more jackets than I need. I don't have any reason to ever buy a jacket ever again. Well, actually I do, cause you know, variation. But uh, if I couldn't buy any more, then I wouldn't need to. This is a 32 short, if you were wondering. My dad is no longer this small. Um, I would have expected him to mm, maybe, maybe not. But yeah, he's no longer this small. Um, and yeah, this beautiful dress coat. This is my mom's nice little velvet bit right here. Me and my sister had um, these black dress coats when we were younger and I don't know why some, for some reason, me and my sister didn't get new ones when we got older. I don't know why we had them when we were like between elementary and middle school. Um, they're really nice. Do they? I didn't see them in the house. But yeah. Now I have this one. It is too long for me, technically. When you see it on where it hits me, it's a little too long because my mom is taller than me. Um, she's about 5'3". She's like two and a half, five three. I'm five one and a half on a good day. Stretch out that spine. Um, and no, I'm not going to have it lifted because I do not care. Because you see how the buttons, well, you don't see it right now, but. So the buttons hit lower here. It should be just about here instead. I'm not going to do anything about it. I don't mind it. It's, it's right on the tuchus. But yeah. That's so nice. I was doing this at my parents' house too. That's just how it is. We can try on clothes, you know. She's a fashion show. Made in the USA. Michelle Stewart. Pure wool. Steam press. Gotcha. Union made. That's nice. But there we go. Out of the light. There we go. Union made. These last three beautiful things. So, so I'm going to show you this last thing for my mom. And then I'll show you my dad's suits. So these are my mother's dress blues from when she was in the Air Force. Got a little slit right there that I'm holding close. Um, need to clean them up a bit. But they fit me pretty well. Um, this is from when she was a first lieutenant. She left as a captain. Um, and... 
and I just take them off right there because like I said I can't wear her rank on it um but I'm gonna wear these with my paper cats corset because that's gonna look exquisite lastly I have these three suits um the two favorite suits for my dad and then the one other suit that I really like and it almost it fits more so like an oversized suit would fit um, and the pants is when he was closer to my size, so there's not much taking in that has to be done. The other two, I'd have to take the pants in a lot. I'm thinking I may make them like pencil skirts. We shall see. But yeah, let me show you. These are by Alexander London and Kuppenheimer, which Kuppenheimer was bought by Men's Warehouse, but I don't think they still make them anymore. But my dad was saying when he was, you know, learning suits and stuff, my nana was like, when in doubt, get a Kuppenheimer, so... But my papa also has Kuppenheimer and Alexander London suits, so it's it's really funny to me. <laughs> oh look, and three different colors too. So don't show the first, and they're in well not order. Well, they're in order of what I told you. These are the two favorites, and then this is. So what do I show you? Favorite three? Eeny meeny miny mo. Catch a tiger by his tail. If he hollers, let him go. My mother told me to pick the very best one right over here, but instead I changed my mind and picked the worst one over here. <laughs> here. Look, this one wants to go first. So this was the first suit that I even noticed in his closet. And oh my god, the way there was dust on these, it was horrendous. This is one of the Alexander London suits, so you see, right there. Um, the pants on all of these have already been taken in for my dad, but you know, gonna take them in again for me. Oh, oh. you see, I like that oversized look because it's kind of like when I'm out, it's like, look, I'm in my man's jacket. Don't bother me. I'm unavailable. Or it's also just, you know, like, because it's my dad's, I like it because I'm sentimental. And I'm like, oh, let me see. You can't let me. That color. Oh! When I first saw it, it was kind of, it looked kind of like burgundy when I saw it in the closet. And I was like, oh no, it's more purple. But really, it's like the thread. But yeah. So this is the one favorite suit of his. <laughs> Look at all these fancy things you get on nice suits. This one is also. And Alexander. Oh, this one doesn't have the wool print, but it does have the made in England. And see, this one is just much more lightweight. This is like the man in the office that's like real cool with everybody, you know, cracks jokes. You see him at the front desk and he's like, oh yeah, you want to grab lunch? But that's nice. But like all of these just I should have just wore something black underneath, but I'll like comfy. I have black under here anyways, but just picture a little black dress underneath all of them. You get the vibes, even if it's not black, but you know, cigar lounge, black dress, suit jacket, let's go. Anyways, so it's these two that I would take the pants in. Um, and I probably make one of them a skirt. And now for the Kuppenheimer. Oh, they have a nice buttons. See here? Kuppenheimer men's clothing. Loomed exclusively for Kuppenheimer. And dry clean only, pure wool. You see, this is this is one of the earlier suits that my dad got. So I see it fits almost just right. Like clearly it's not, you know, in arms. But this one, I'm not touching this. I'm probably not gonna touch any of the jackets. It's probably just in case, but this is the one. I don't even need to do a thing. And I love that. Actually, these pants, I'm not going to take them off and show you. I would. 
but they even I like they have this little but it, it, there's no actual pocket but just the detailing on the pocket because it's like that on the waist a little utilitary Whoop. you stay nice on the hanger thank you but yeah you see this this nice fabric I love that and my mom was even talking she was like yeah we should get you a nice pinstripe women's suit and I was like oh Okay. I don't know why she said pinstripe specifically. That'd be fine. And then she was like, and then she was like, well, I mean, you can get more than one. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's true. That's it. I did take my, look, this, this dress bag is actually also grown, but it's my sister's. I didn't even realize so I was putting stuff in and I was like, oh. Well, she's here with me now. It's fine. I forgot to show you these bags that I got from my mom as well. Oh. So, I forgot to show you these bags that I got from my mom. Oh. Old style bags, you know, with the double siding. Or triple anyway. I really like that. And this one, this is actually goes with her, her military uniform oh well it's just a pouch inside but it's nice quality leather and then this was her mother's her adoptive mother's I don't know if I mentioned you guys she's adopted I think I did in passing but yeah so it's just nice still in pretty good condition just you know wipe it off a bit Thanks for watching.